Welcome back to The Graham Stephan Show. My name is Graham and welcome to my show. And today we're gonna be getting back to the roots of the channel and going back to the basics. And what I mean the basics, what I'm really talking about is uh, these old videos by Glamour. And basically what they had is a series that's called Honest Accounts. And these videos were posted about two years ago, back in the olden days of like, when they would show people just making a lot of big financial mistakes. This was like the wild, wild west of like finance videos. And uh, I realized, I've never seen some of these videos by Glamour. So I figured today's a perfect day to go back in time and watch some of these disasters that they, that they used to show on the channel. But uh, this video that I found, it's titled, How This Career Advisor Spends Her $43,000 Salary, Wait For It, Honest Accounts, Wait For It Again, Glamour. And of course, what we have to do to start the video is do our part to smash the like button. So let me go and smash it. And uh, oh wait, we should also get our four free stocks down below in the description when you deposit $100 in Weeble because those four free stocks are potentially worth up to $1,600 and the offer expires soon. So if you want free money, link down below in the description. And with that said, let's see how this career advisor spends her $43,000. I'm a career advisor living in New York City and I make $43,000 a year. You have a career telling other people what careers they should do. I think my career advisor in high school was basically telling me to go to college and I was, I just didn't feel it. Didn't feel like that was the right choice for me. So everything after that just, just didn't listen to it. So uh, <laughs> look at where I turned out. Now I'm, now I'm making YouTube videos, guys. Y yay, <laughs> yay. All right, we'll keep going. I have $1,000 in a 401k, about $600 in a personal savings account, $4,500 in credit card debt, and about $60,000 in school loans. I hate to say it, guys. I hate to say it, but this is what we're all thinking. Is she really qualified to give career advice? I know we're all saying it. Like, normally, I wouldn't go so far. But, like, I know that's what most people are thinking. From a financial standpoint, it's like, it just... Everything's going wrong here. Uh, these should be flipped. Thousand dollars in a four hundred one k is definitely not enough. Uh, Six hundred dollars in a savings account definitely not enough. Forty five hundred dollars on a credit card is way too much money, and sixty thousand dollars in student loan debt it's just too much. And we could all blame the college system. Like college is way too expensive, but there's no reason to go sixty thousand dollars in debt. After medical insurance, 401k, and commuter benefits, I take home about $2,118 per month. Yeah, $2,118. I, I think her thing is she's really, she, she's, I think she, maybe she needs to find a career advisor. She needs to get her income up. I mean, plain and simple. I mean, I think she could be doing way more than this, given that she's, obviously she's well-educated. She, she, she's $60,000 in student loan debt. So she has an education. I mean, I do think we could probably get her income up to like 60, 70 K, uh, and then go from there. Goals, definitely paying off my credit cards. I think that's like my main goal. I figure with loans, they're always going to be there. You know, they'll get paid when they get paid. Oh, uh, I don't know. They're not going to get paid when they get paid. They're going to get paid when you take a uh, proactive approach to pay them down. Now, I agree with her. I think the credit card debt, absolutely, that's your priority number one. I'd say that's a, probably a bigger priority than uh, maxing out a 401k or a savings account. I think that credit card probably at 20% interest. Student loans might be at 4 to 8% interest, give or take. Credit cards first, student loans second, but the student loans get paid off um, as soon as possible. That's really the gist of it. Because I still live at home, I don't pay rent, but I do pay $338 in utilities. I pay $6 in monthly subscriptions, $25 goes into my personal savings, and $91 goes towards student loans. That leaves $1,607 to spend. All right, so let's look at this. Uh, fantastic, she's living at home. Fantastic. I would honestly just tell her, live at home as long as you can until all of your debts are paid off. Everything, no matter how long that takes, live at home. Live at home, have fun with mom and dad. Just as long as you have a good relationship with your family, there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, utilities, 338. Fantastic. Subscription, $6 a month. Fantastic. Savings account, $25. I mean, it's not going to cut it. It's really not. I'm, I'm glad it's something, but like 25, it's just not enough for her budget, plain and simple, uh, unless all the other money is going to a credit card, which I'm hoping we're gonna see here. I'd like all that other money to go to credit card, in which case it's okay. Student loans, $91 a month. It's probably like the bare minimum, but I'm hoping it's only this because of the credit card debt. Here's my most recent card statement. Most frequent purchases. Food, I'm spending way too much money. Oh, jeez, guys. Jeez, this is what, 
This is the thing with the old episodes, is that uh, now they handpick the best examples. They find people who are doing a phenomenal job. They're saints, they're doing everything right. They gave me nothing to criticize. And I'm left there just thinking like, guys, it's a good, good job. Good job, guys. This is one of the, I mean, look at this, Chipotle. $9.42, Burger King, Dunkin' Donuts, Food Court, Food Court, Fresh Start Buffalo Wings. It's just, she can't afford it. She's got to be eating at home and using every last dollar to pay off that credit card debt. That is what I would say to her if I were a career advisor. But because I work downtown Brooklyn, the prices are definitely different than near my house. They're cheaper, but it's been pretty often. I stopped bringing lunch so I'm trying to start it up again. Cook your own food at home, bring it with you, eat it, cheaper, probably better for you, and uh, everyone wins. Except the credit card companies because they're not gonna, they're not gonna get your money no more. See? I could probably spend less at Starbucks. Ah, oh, jeez, come on. This gets worse, Starbucks. Look at this, look at Starbucks. $6.37 at Starbucks. Uh, it's not okay. It's just the, and look, it's like, it's like every day. It's like multiple purchases every single day of just Starbucks, Starbucks, $10 at Starbucks one morning and then Popeyes right after it. It's, it's, you, you can't do it. I'm definitely spending too much money on Ubers, especially within like the same day. <gasps> oh, why, why look at that? She spent that one day $30 on Uber, 30 bucks in one day. Um, she's basically spending as much money as she makes. Uh, in some of these days, after after all like taxes and everything, just on Uber. There are some dance classes that like I want to take, and the fact that I took a thirty dollar Uber ride means I could have took three dance classes. <sighs> it's like she knows what she's doing wrong, but she just just, just doesn't want to change it. That's the problem with this. Is she's really got to start? She's got to change these habits now, today. And by today, I'm, I really mean two and a half years ago. Four dollars. I was giving a coworker money back since she gave it to me in cash, and forty dollars went towards. I want to create videos on Instagram about my bad dating experiences in New York City. Wait a second. Forty dollars to share bad dating experiences on Instagram. You could do that for free. You could just, you have a phone, obviously. Just do it on your phone. Just record yourself, share bad dating experiences. You don't need $40 to share a bad dating experience because $40, that, that's a bad experience in and of itself just to spend that, so. I'm really big on like astrology and weird things like that. So I know Mercury's in retrograde right now and they're telling me not to start anything major until April 15th. <sighs> okay, guys. <laughs> Mercury's in retrograde, so she's not gonna do anything now. Okay, so I'll be honest with you guys. I, uh, I, I, I follow horoscopes a, a little bit, a little bit. I like to read them, I find them entertaining, and I think sometimes, you know, you could apply certain things to your life in a way that benefit you. Like, you know, positive things, hey, makes you optimistic for the future. Any negative things that happens, like, oh, oh that, that's why. Mars is uh, in retrograde. There's some of the stuff that maybe I, I, will, I will believe into, fine. But to purposely not take action on something because Mercury's in retrograde. Again, I just don't know if this is someone you want to take a career advice from. That, that's all I'm saying. We're all thinking it, guys. We're all thinking it, and I'm just going to say it. Hello T, the clothing store online. The t-shirt said, T'Challa, holla at your girl, which is from Black Panther. $25.90. I have another withdrawal of $120. I have no idea why I had that withdrawal. Ah, uh, she's so bad with money, guys. It's bad. Like, every expense is bad. She's blown everything. And she's only saving $25 a month, um, which in reality, you cut all this out, she could be saving maybe about $1,500 a month. And then she should be working on increasing her income, making 60. It's just a lot of, a lot of just unnecessary spending. This is a beauty supply store near my house. $14.12. Another withdrawal of $200. Where is she drawing cash? Who withdraws cash? Who withdraws $100 of cash and then has no idea where it goes? I know if I withdraw cash, which is rare because I, I almost never, I almost never carry any cash on me. So when I do get cash, it's like, it's a big deal. I know where it goes. Is she just having these moments where she gets cash and just, I don't know where it went? That doesn't happen. She, there's some, there's something nefarious going on here. That, that's what I think. There's something. There's, there's a cash business going on, on the side. That she's just like, oh, forgot what that was. Oh well. She's doing something, guys. I went to Turtle Bay. Happy hour, twenty three dollars. That's not so bad. Ah, uh, that's not so bad. Twenty three dollars happy hour. Well, at the same day. Uh, taking an Uber to get there, Apple iTunes, eating a Buffalo Wild Wings. She's having the time of her life. She's living more baller than I am. I don't, I don't, I don't take Ubers. 
Uh, I also don't go to Buffalo Wild Wings, and uh, happy hour is so nice, but everything's closed, so I'd save the money instead. $4.48, and then I got cash back of $10. Probably purchase snacks, because a lot of times I don't get to move around at work a lot, so I need snacks at my desk. $14 of snacks. Again, get food at home. Get food at home, bring it to the work for like $4. You'll get all the snacks in the world. You'll be so full. That's all you need. Food at home. Largest purchases. I can't believe those aren't even the largest purchases. We just went through like most of most of how much money I would spend and, and we didn't even get to the to the big part yet. This Uber ride, I was headed to the city to a show that my sorority sister was performing. When I got to the place, which was Ludlow House, I spent $43 there off of drinks and food. Ah, oh, terrible. $43. $4,500 to credit card debt. I'm sure it's just, I'm sure she's not even paying it down at this point. I'm sure it's just, it's increasing every day. That's what I'm worried about. When I go out, I'll order mixed drinks because I don't like drinking alcohol straight a lot of times, so. I'll get like a tequila sunrise or a margarita. Can't afford to drink. She can't afford to drink. And uh, if she is gonna drink, honestly, just go to, and I, I sound terrible for advocating this, go to the liquor store, get a bottle of whatever you want. Uh, get one of those cool backpacks or those cool things that have like a little straw you can hide in them. And uh, just walk in, you, you pour the thing in the backpack or whatever, you have a little straw that comes out through here and you could just, just, just drink it, put it away. Problem solved. Where's the problem in that? Now you save money. Think about it. Square cash. That was my coworker. She ordered lunch for the both of us and then I just square cashed her the money, which was $10. Then I withdrawed money. I must have owed my sister money or something, but this is $150. Again, they, they withdraw. She's withdrawing hundreds of dollars in cash and just not sure where it goes. If she really is unsure where that money is going and it's it's not like she just doesn't want to talk about it, that's a problem. She's She's got... Something's going on there. So I let my sister borrow money when she went away to Atlanta. Or did she go to Bermuda or Aruba? She went to Aruba. She needed $500, so I took it out of my savings account and then she sent it back to me. Thank God. <laughs> you shouldn't go to Aruba if you need 500 bucks. If you need to borrow money, you should not be going on exotic vacations to Aruba. Only pay for vacations if you have excess money and don't need to borrow money to go on the vacation. Aruba. I've never even been to Aruba. I'm gonna have my TD credit card bill, which was $70. I got the Barclay card in order to buy my MacBook, and I paid $45. Barclay card in order to buy my MacBook, and she's making the minimum payments on that. She can't afford a MacBook. Honestly, like none of this is she could afford, and she's making the minimum payments so far on all of her credit cards. Then I have another quick pay, $32. I have another national grid. Why did I pay them twice in the same month? Maybe to get ahead of the game, I have no idea. $33. My Chase credit card that I paid $100 to. My student loans, $91.05. And my PayPal account, $125. All right, so so far we have three credit cards that she's making the minimum payments on. Big problems there. Most unusual expense. The Eventbrite ticket, that's not something that I do often, so that'd probably be one of the most unusual purchases. My friend, she has her own like company that she's starting and she's doing like a Caribbean style brunch and she's having different vendors come out to sell their products also. I figure she's probably putting in a lot more money than she's even charging. No, 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 no. She's got to tell her friend, hey, listen, I would, I would love to go to it. I wish I could support you, but my, my finances are really bad right now. I'm uh, really deep credit card debt and student loan debt. I can't afford it. I would really want to support you and I promise I'll be there for anything else you need, but financially, I just can't wing it right now. I'm really sorry. That, that's what she needs to say. Instead of 55 bucks for a brunch. Can't afford it. Looking at it, this is probably normal. Eventually, I do want to move out of my house and I can't spend all this money if I want to live alone. No, she can't. And that should not be normal. It shouldn't be normal at all. She's got to, she's got to start this now. She can't afford to wait and, or think like, okay, when I'm ready to move on my own, then I'll start to, no, gotta do it now, gotta get ahead of it, gotta get ahead of it now. I feel like I need to stay home and not eat, and yeah, that's the main two things, <laughs> stay home and not eat. Uh, and not Uber, and not brunch. Um, terrible, terrible finances. Uh, my advice is just this. She's gotta cut back everything. Literally, I think we should take her credit cards cut them up into pieces. And I think she's one of these people where you just gotta give her 200 bucks for the month. Just give her 200 bucks and say, this is gonna last you the next 30 days. You could spend it however you want, but you don't get any more than this. The rest of her money automatically goes into paying off the credit card bills. Everything else after that would go to the student loans. That's what we gotta do with her. No credit cards, no Uber. We should almost just like take her phone away because she's, she's, 
charging stuff on her phone. <laughs> Take everything away. Just get down to the basics, 200 bucks cash, get her a flip phone. So it makes it such an inconvenience to do anything on that. And that's it, that's what we gotta do. Now let's go to the comments. LG, no rent right now. She needs to take advantage of that and pay off the student loans. Agreed, she's getting good advice from the comments. She spends more in a month on Starbucks than she puts in her savings account. She's mad, yes. $60,000 in loan and she's only paying $91 a month. Girl, uh, consider this guys, $60,000 uh, divided by 91, it's gonna take her 660 months to pay that. 660 months divided by 12 months in a year. It's gonna take her 55 years to pay off that student loan debt. She'll be like in her 80s, most likely. She'll be in her 80s by the time the student loans are like done. Probably actually she'll never pay them off because realistically, uh, that's not even interest. Like chances are it's growing higher than she's paying it off. So most likely she'll just always have that debt for the rest of her life. Uh, okay, Brian said it. Brian said it, this might seem messed up, but am I the only one who finds it ironic that a career advisor only makes $43,000 a year? Don't save what is left after spending. Spend what is left over after saving. <laughs> Guys, we've, uh, we've given good financial advice so far in the comments. Because yeah, otherwise what's really happening is that her parents are subsidizing her eating out Uber and like all this, this glamorous lifestyle by not charging her rent. Because I guarantee if she had to pay her own rent, she'd find a way to cut back on everything else and pay the rent. So it's just, in a way, her parents, I think, are subsidizing all of this by the free rent. I love it. Last comment. I'm not a coffee drinker, but I drink lattes. Girl, do you not know what's in a latte? All right, so overall, guys, that was my financial advice for her. It's just she's got a very long ways to go. And uh, I think, honestly, if she just cut out all the spending, she would be in a really great position to pay down that debt, really get ahead, save some extra money, increase her income. She could do a lot. Like she has it all at her disposal. It's just, it's, it's just being spent on Starbucks and Uber and alcohol and just stuff she should not be spending money on. So she just cuts that out, she'll be okay. But until then, it's, uh, it's a rough episode, guys. And also I gotta say, it's kind of disappointing. She didn't get her four free stocks down below in the description when she deposits $100 on Weeble. She could get four free stocks that would potentially be worth all the way up to $1,600. And that's basically free money. So it's also disappointing that she's not getting any free money like you can by using the link down below in the description. So with that said, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. As always, make sure to destroy the subscribe button and the notification bell. Also, feel free to add me on Instagram. I post it pretty much daily, so if you want to be a part of it there, feel free to add me there as on the podcast, The Iced Coffee Hour. New episodes being posted every single Sunday, so make sure to add yourself to that. And lastly, get those four free stocks, completely free money. The offer expires soon. That could be worth up to $1,600. So with that said, thank you so much for watching and until next time.